Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with an unboxing video from Pam on uh, Be, D Be Temptation Facebook group, but she also has a new Etsy shop if you're not on Facebook. Um, so I'll link to everything below. I just finished filming a live for Jesse James Beats on their Facebook page. Today's the 30th, May 30th, um, and we made some bracelets. So here's one. It was men's themed jewelry, but I'm wearing these because I think they're cool. So I made this. Um, I made the one I'm wearing to match it and then a simple leather bracelet if you want to um, see the techniques you can either check it out on their page or I've already uploaded it to this page or to my uh, Facebook I'm sorry not Facebook my YouTube channel so if you see some glue on my fingers it's because I just finished my my um, live there so um, you guys know I love these crazy color neon frosted beads from Pam so these aren't neon but they're gold and she got them in like golden yellow and she got them in 10 millimeters so I had to get them like I told her the second you get them in 10 millimeter see here's all the glue on my hands I'm so sorry um the second you get them in 10 millimeter let me know so she got them in that gold color she got them in this bright yellow this is it's so awesome I'm gonna look like a traffic sign but it's gonna be so cool <laughs> traffic cone maybe um two, two strands of yellow bright orange this is bright but wait till this we see this other color no oh, look at it look at these two together I gotta fashion up something with these I just I am in love with those oh my gosh okay oh they make me so happy all right so that was the first thing um, this bag is jam-packed so let's see what else we got oh my goodness and I had to wait to do this unboxing for you guys she was on vacation I didn't want to swamp her and she wanted to you know show you her uh, Etsy page so I'm so glad I get to show you guys oh these are cool they're like my favorite color like turquoise aqua teal -y color but then they're half metallic crystals Ugh, so pretty these are gorgeous. They have like a purple and green half metallic coating. Uh, like a milky, milky white gray <laughs> with a luster. These are so pretty. I always make end up making earrings in videos with Pam stuff, so we'll see what we come up with today. Maybe I'll make something else besides earrings. Um, these are gorgeous. Blue, electric, like... They're not electric blue, but they're almost like electric teal, kind of, with a mat, um, a luster or AB on them. And then we have a cream with a luster. So pretty. All those colors. Those are my favorite colors. Those are my favorite colors. Thanks, Pam. Guys, let me know. If you don't like how the beads sound on the wood, I won't use it. But I did buy, I love this background, and I I. The sound actually doesn't bother me, but you're the ones watching the videos. I know somebody said something, but I can't please everyone. If everybody hates the sound, I'll change it, but I like it. <laughs> um, we have some, ooh, guys, you know, this is my new favorite color in those crystals, and I didn't know she had them in the leaves. Maybe I did. I don't remember if I ordered these, but they're that dark purple black in leaves. First of all, you know I love me some leaves, but that they have them in this awesome dark purple blue black is amazing isn't that crazy that's a crazy leaf right there i love it gorgeous oh i did order these these fishies it's funny because i ordered these and then i forgot i ordered them from pam so i ordered them from somebody else <laughs> but they're so cool aren't they they're i think these are check so they're so cool i love that metallic i love the different um different colors oh maybe that's my favorite that one's pretty cool hmm so cute fishies are so cute i like any animals though any beads in the shape of animals are okay by me oh my gosh i love these i love love, love these oh, do i want to get out my patinas I feel like I need to get out my patinas, but I really want, I, I just love how it has the concentric hearts. Little wood charms, pendants, they're so cool. 
I think painting that would be really cool. I always want to patina everything that she sends me. Oh, goodness. So I went on a spending freeze for a week so I could go to a really cool store. And I still didn't catch up from videos. Like, it's ridiculous. So I need to really, like, sit down, give myself a talk, and tell myself to go on a spending freeze just so I can get through the videos I have and then actually make some stuff. I know I've really, this channel is really about beads and not about jewelry, but I do love making jewelry. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. First of all, Mother of Pearl, so you know I love them. Second of all, owls, which I'm obsessed with. I don't think a lot of you know that, but I'm obsessed with owls. I have been for years and years. Like, my grandmother, my other grandmother, my grandmother Mary, collected owls. One collected elephants, Myrtle, uh, and Mary collected owls. And so, um, I've always loved owls, but for the last probably 12 or so years, I have collected them, and like with pineapples and, and elephants, too. So... I've, you know, when somebody finds out you like owls, they tend to give you them. <laughs> I've gotten rid of it as many owls as I have, but um, I love them. Those are super, super cute. Oh gosh. She also sent them in turtles. <laughs> you guys know, you guys know already that I'm giggling because I love turtles. Gosh. It's so funny. And you know, when I used to live in Tempe, um, before I moved into this house, I would walk um, uh, around the canal and you'd see turtles sunbathing. And it was so cool. I was like, that's something you don't see in Ohio. You don't just walk outside and see turtles. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty neat. They would sunbathe with the ducks. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Okay, so you know I love this already because they're that jet purple with the black gosh those are so cool I don't I don't know I don't think they are but Pam let me know if they're check I just just look at the holes of these I don't think that they're check glass but you know I could be surprised so just isn't that awesome that is just so cool I love those put those over there for a second um, a big cinnabar heart now cinnabar real cinnabar is poisonous Okay, so it's not real cinnabar, but it's a faux cinnabar heart, and it's um, gorgeous. It's double-sided, so this side has um, three main flowers, and there's some behind each one. And then this side has a rose and then some background flowers, but it's a bead that you could use as a focal. You could turn it this way, put it on your wrist. Um, I'm sure some leather could fit through there. I don't know what size leather. I have some two millimeter here from my live. Yeah, you can string this on some two millimeter leather, make it into a pendant. That's awesome. It's, it's, that's a hefty boy. That's a hefty boy. You have to be ready to wear that guy. <laughs> um, I think I ordered this stuff. I can't remember, guys. I can't remember. So, um, cause she she's so sweet and she includes some really cool stuff for me so I can show you guys. Um, but these are my favorite crystals. This is what really got me onto that black and purple crystal kick. So glad I have more of those because I use them all. How, what hoarder worth her salt uses all of her beads? <laughs> so a second set of those leaves. And now that I'm thinking about it, those leaves can go with these, with these roses. So cool. And a second set of the roses. Oh, oh my gosh. I love, love, love them. Um, okay. So we still have more. Um, good night. We have some... These are like faux druzy beads. They're glass, but they're so shimmery. These would look great with, with those. I'm thinking, I'm gaining an idea here. Okay, those are really pretty. She's got some um, Fimo or um, polymer clay fruit beads. This is the year of fruit for me. I'm getting fruit and everything, so I'm so glad that she sent these. I think I have some civil, similar ones, but I will always take more. So we have dragon fruit. So cool. I love the neon colors. We have an orange, um, a grapefruit, a lime. This could be, con nope, this must be the lemon because here's an orange. But these are really, really bright in real life. They're kind of washed out right now because I have really new, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been using my new light and it's super bright. These are, 
I don't know if you can see that's really it's really like a darker orange than it's showing here um, we've got a strawberry these are all made from canes too and we've got a watermelon actually I think these are grapes now that I'm looking at it it looks like a strawberry but I think it's grapes because here's a strawberry could be a strawberry too it just could be two different types of strawberries because then we have this lighter strawberry. <laughs> are you sick of hearing me say the word strawberry <laughs> all right look how cool that watermelon is now I got to go downstairs and eat some fruit after this video for sure and then we have three different types of apples we've got a pink we've got a yellow and a red and then we've got red so neat oh I'm missing some stuff here so we've got these oh my gosh there's more in here guys okay so we've got this guy, I think it's supposed to be a kiwi. We've got this watermelon slice, super yummy, super duper yummy. And then we've got these crazy grapes, berry, don't know, maybe use your imagination, make it what you want it to be. And then we've got a different kind of apple. And I saw another one, where is he, where is he, where is he? this guy so this is like a lime too two different types of limes maybe a key lime and a different lime <laughs> so super cute Lo I love those I need to do something with them I have some from BB craft too that I never did anything with Ooh, oh these are adorable these are cute you could use these like on um, like little charms for backpacks zipper pulls they're little butterflies. You can make cute kids earrings with these. Cute teenager earrings with these. And if you're like um, really into bright colors, I would, I mean, I'm not going to put an age limit on a, t on a bead. Really, I'm not because these are super cute. But look, there's white, purple, green, orange, pink, red, and blue. Oh two different types of purple and two different types of pink so here's a um, hot pink and then a hot purple I love them they're so cute and they kind of like if you cross your eyes a little bit <laughs> look like uh, little French Bulldogs but they're I mean I know that they're butterflies but they're kind of in the shape of a French Bulldog too their face at least okay Oh my okay I'll save all that to the end because it's kind of the same um, this is African turquoise Jasper these are go for eight dollars they're chips I actually just ordered these two from somewhere else oh these are so pretty these are actually super different than the ones that I ordered so I'm so excited that I have two different kinds now these are like amazing so just so you guys know african turquoise no matter whether or not somebody says jasper after it is not real turquoise it's a jasper but it looks like turquoise and um, it's gorgeous i mean isn't it beautiful oh my gosh i actually have a a necklace planned with the stuff that i ordered that i haven't shown you yet so maybe i'll I'll just I'll save this for a little while because it's so gorgeous this is my favorite thing so far even though I've it's like my favorite thing in a sea of my favorite things <laughs> um, she sent some more mother of pearl things but I think these are charms oh my goodness I'm dropping things yeah these are charms oh there you go a tree of life these would make super cute 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 earrings pretty that is these would make a really sophisticated earring with a crystal right here and just this drop or just this drop if you wanted to make a really cute pair of quick quick quick, quick earrings those are gorgeous I love the flash on the mother of pearl <gasps> oh my goodness she sent all my favorite things so turtles uh, owls and elephants she got both my grandmas in there that's so cute thank you <gasps> how cool would it be if we made some earrings that had this African elephant. But if we put an elephant below some chips, that would be beautiful. Okay, looks like we're gonna make some earrings today. <laughs> I was gonna try and expand, but I always end up making earrings with Pam's stuff because she sends some really gorgeous things for earrings. Um, we've got some more things in this bag. We've got some Tree of Life. 
beautiful. I, I have very, I have some of these, but very limited. I actually looked at some of these at the store yesterday, but I didn't get them. Um, these are beautiful. They're a uh, tree. So they're the tree of life. They're coin beads. There's a hole. And these have a really cool pit, like pastel metal color, uh, iridescence on it. Purples, greens, blues, pink, yellow. Very pretty. And then we have uh, some little duck beads. These printed beads with little ducks on them. Swans, swans. Gosh, those are adorable. They're blue and white. Like a metallic blue though, it's not just a flat blue. <gasps> and these are beautiful. We have got some flower crystals. Oh gosh, those are gorgeous. So, so pretty. And they've got an AB on them. A little pretty pale pink, adorable. Thank you, Pam. Those are gorgeous. Now, <clears throat> she also has, I guess, not just this guy. She has like a shop full of faux cinnabar. So let's take a look at the other things that she sent. And if you don't really, I, I'm not 100% sure what Cinnabar is. I, I have, I think, a couple pieces that might be real, which you really shouldn't be using because I guess they have lead in them if they're real. But um, they're, this, this bright, usually like a, a nice red. So these are acrylic. Uh, this is I, probably resin. It's just heftier than these are but they're still really pretty. These would look amazing with turquoise. Yep, called it. <laughs> amazing with turquoise or even bright, bright turquoise too. Cause this is like, this is like real turquoise. Like if you looked at some dyed howlite next to these, those would be really cool. She also sent it in these teardrops. really cool i was searching and searching and searching for some teardrop beads a week or two ago um i probably had this that long but i haven't looked in here because i didn't want to do the thing uh, the unboxing before she came back from her uh vacation but yeah i have some teardrop earrings that i wanted to make um and then these guys some barrels Oh, these have a starfish on them. Oh, how cute. Look at that. They have a starfish. So they almost look more like coral than um, cinnabar, but they are faux cinnabar. So cool. I love those. That's really cool. You could do a very cool theme, sea theme necklace with these. And if you don't want bright red, paint them nothing holding you back but they're very cool and then she sent this big bag of other goodies so we've got another heart so cute um, let's see okay they had more of the same in there however there were some of these little mm, eight to nine millimeter rounds. I think they're probably nine millimeter ish. And then we've got some flowers. I used to use stuff like this all the time when I was on Etsy and um, I should make a necklace using one of these. What do you think? Um, wish I knew where my turquoise drops were. Okay, so we're gonna do two things. I'm gonna make a pair of earrings and a necklace. <laughs> I always end up making stuff when Pam sends me stuff. Um, but the necklace is gonna use beads that didn't come in this um, because I'll show you what I used to make on Etsy. And it's very similar to the necklace that I did for Jesse James beads the other day, but I'll need one of these. 
I'm just gonna clean up the rest and we'll be right back. Okay, so I destroyed my blue mat <laughs> in my uh, Jesse James Beads video today with my glue. So we're, we have a nice bright yellow mat today. Um, we'll see how it works out. If I don't like it, I'll change it in the future. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I, I have this beautiful rose. I'm gonna get out some gunmetal eye pins. Um, and a jump ring if I can find one. Oh, so I don't. This maybe came from Walmart. This looks like the Walmart branding, but I could be really wrong. In any event, they're very old. <laughs> so um, I just need one for now. I might need more. I'm going to spill out some of these or all of them I guess and then I got some I brought over some turquoise beads these are magnesite I'm sure and we're just gonna hand link a bunch of these sorry glue on my fingers I'm gonna do the first one in regular speed so you can see me do it just um, I'm not gonna wire wrap I'm just gonna simple wrap these simple loop them and you can absolutely use your one-step looper um, I'm just not gonna get that involved today I'm just gonna do this because we don't need to do like a whole chain of them I only need about 10 max so we're gonna make a bunch of those Okay, so these are 12 millimeter beads. I would normally just use these and make um, eye pins out of them for, so I would use half of the eye pins um, that I used here, but the beads are a little too big to do that. I'll save these for six millimeter beads or something smaller so I don't waste them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and link these as quickly as possible. Okay, so those are together and we have um, a really cute little string of beads. I'm going to open up my jump ring, string on one end of our string and then I'm going to put the other end of our jump ring through the drilled hole on our flower and then we're going to close that up. And I used to make these 18 inch necklaces with the option of a, an extender or to extend it up, up or down two inches for free. Um, and then, so I'm just gonna measure this. We're at eight inches, so I'd need 10 inches of chain. I actually found this in my drawer and it, I must have taken it off of a necklace to use the beads or whatever, but it already has a clasp attached. This is, this is 12 inches, so the necklace would end up being 20 inches long. I'm totally cool with that. Look, it even has some jump rings on it already. So I'm just gonna open up this jump ring. That's how you up upcycle jewelry. <laughs> Close it. Otherwise, you would just measure your chain, cut it open and, and put it uh, on your necklace and go about your day. But we have a really fun necklace I used to sell I mean I can't I, I sold hundreds if not thousands of these necklaces because I had thousands of sales in my Etsy Etsy shop um, and each one some of the sales would be 10 or 11 necklaces because they were brides, bridesmaids but here's our necklace let me see if I can back out a little bit it doesn't look so great on this yellow background but let's see 
I'll show it on the wood in a little bit. But isn't that cute? It's a cute little asymmetrical flower necklace. And then that kind of wants to sit on the, the right on or below the collarbone. So it's uh, really cute. You could put another flower on this side. You could do multiple um, strands like I did in the Jesse James Bead Bridal Necklace. But it's just a really cute summer necklace. And actually with this chain, it's adjustable. So I can make it longer or shorter. So there's a necklace. Let's scooch in a little bit and I'll make a matching pair of earrings. But in, in a surprising way, I'm not going to use this red flower. I'm not going to use the turquoise beads, but I found these in my stash. I think they came from Bergen Bead Box. Um, but I'm also going to use some of the beads that she sent me. You can use any turquoise bead, but it's kind of switching it up. Let's see. Do I want to do the drop? Yeah, I'll do that. I think that's pretty cool. Super super cute and it just goes really really well with that necklace um, what I need is ooh, I have some ear wires I need two spacer beads I actually might need more than that so I'm gonna get six out just in case and that's not a spacer bead um, I'll need a head pin I have some ball head pins so those might work if not I have Let's just see if that works. Yeah, that's perfect. So we'll stick with the ball head pins. I have my eye pins out um, and I just need an ear wire, which I might not have. I could upcycle these. Oh yeah, I got these off of some, you know, I deconstruct jewelry from Walmart when they have like deeply discounted really cool stuff and I won't buy it at regular prices but these came off a pair of earrings so we're gonna use those um so I'm just gonna wire wrap this or not wire wrap this but make a simple loop Guys, my video making anxiety is way down now that I have this new light. Let me tell you what. Um, if you want to know more about it, I'll put a link down below. It's an affiliate affiliate link. So if you do choose to buy one, um, it would help me. But if you don't, that's totally fine too. It's pretty cool. Um, it's huge. It's like 20 inches wide. I think they have a 22 inch or 23 inch wide one too. But anyway, I just, I start talking. <laughs> And I don't stop. Okay, so we'll get this done. So there's our first charm for our earring. Super cute. Then I'm gonna grab an eye pin, stick our flower on. Do I want it to go? No, I want it to go this way. Do I want it to go that way? I guess it doesn't matter because it's not like centered. And we got to be careful because it's, I didn't think about this. It might just flip flop back and forth. If we don't like how that looks, I'm just going to grab um, another turquoise and put it on top. And I think that'll be fine too. Let's see this guy. Yeah, he's willy wonky too. Okay. Um, I'm going to put one of these on top. Cute. try and get that really tight right there so he doesn't move around and it does a little bit but it's not atrocious <laughs> it's not like swinging back and forth but you want to see to tighten it you just want to get that I, I don't know how to explain what I just did but um, it's just not that's it's how this is one thing that I've not been able to explain to you guys I'm usually pretty good at explaining but to tighten um, the, the eye pin, you kind of just have to make sure it's curled next to itself right here instead of going over here. I don't know how to explain it. It's creating tension. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I, I failed at explaining that one to you very well, but we're going to turn it sideways. 
um, I hesitate to open that back up because it it's got some good tension on it um, so I'm just gonna get a small jump ring and jump ring it now this guy doesn't really matter we can just hook him on to the bottom of our flower makes me sad that I couldn't explain something with words that I know how to do hopefully you guys can kind of understand what I was talking about but there's our earring super cute all right one more tilting the other way so that on there do our simple loop these are getting a necklace and two pairs of earrings out of me today <laughs> Pam's stuff I mean I get inspired by a lot of stuff but I don't understand every single time she sends stuff I think it's just because she sends like really cool earring stuff and I like those are easy and fast that I get super inspired and not like overwhelmed. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but every time it never fails, I want to make earrings right away with Pam's stuff. So this one I'm having a hard time getting it to really tighten. So I might trim a little bit on that eye pin. Do it again. And we'll get this guy on the bottom. I'll find some teeny jump rings, hopefully. There is our earring. Oh, and I'll show you the other one on an iP or I'm sorry, not an eye pen, but a regular ear wire. Okay, so I'm gonna try out this one because I'm not married to the post idea. So we'll see what it looks like. And then I'll decide which one I like better. Um, so um, I like them both. <laughs> I think the these are a little bit more edgy, but I like them both. Super cute. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just go with the post earrings, and then I'll send these off to a friend because I can't wear them, <laughs> and I have tons of necklaces that look like that. So uh, these are gonna be a gift for somebody. There we go. Our cute earrings and our matching necklace. I'll show you at the end of the video all of these together. Um, but if you do, didn't forget already, we are going to make earrings with these elephants. And I did notice that their trunks are up so I can keep, keep the beads. <laughs> Very superstitious when it comes to elephants because my grandmother always told us do not take trunk down elephants. Trunk down elephants are bad luck. Trunk up elephants are good luck. So, all right. So I was gonna make earrings with those and the us uh, the African um, ja uh, African turquoise jasper. I'll cut it here. And these are gonna be like stupidly simple because they're just super easy. Um, I need some eye pins. Gonna go with gold because the elephants are gold. I'm just gonna stack four or five of these guys. You guys are always wondering how to use chips. Stack them. 
They're like little potato chips. You can't stop. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay. You can put um, a spacer bead on top, but <clears throat> I'm not going to. Don't be afraid to make it your own. I'm just here to inspire. I don't, I'm not telling you how you need to make your earrings. <laughs> okay, so we've got a link. We're going to make one more. to match it's the thing with chips you got to make sure that you can kind of get the same height so you might have to go further down your strand but you can always use the smaller ones later it's four and Close enough. <laughs> They'll be on two different sides of your sides of your head, so you won't be able to compare them right away. Okay. And then um, we're probably going to yeah, we're gonna end up I think using a jump ring, but maybe I made this loop a little bit long enough, so let's see. Not 100% sure, but you won't know until you try it, right? Yeah, I don't think I don't think I made that loop big enough. It's okay. Totally fine. So let's get a jump ring. And twist that open. Don't ever pull the jump ring apart um, because it'll warp. Twist it back closed. Do it one more time. Okay. Um, now I just gotta find a an earring wire. It's super cute. Now um, I have to figure out how the um, wires are facing because I want to make sure that my elephant faces out. So uh, with this one, we're okay with using a jump ring. And if we're not okay using a jump ring on this one, then I need to twist the wire because one needs, they need to be similar. So this one is actually facing, so I could actually hook on to the ear wire with the eye pin. However, the other one's not similar, so um, actually let's twist this one because that way we won't have to use a jump ring. So I'm just going to hold. Sometimes it's not that easy, especially with these stiffer eye pins, and twist. So okay, we've got him facing forward. that. Let's make sure. I think we need to twist a little more. It's only like halfway there. Okay. Let's see. just kind of have to finagle it until it's finished. It's easier, way easier to do with like if you're making eye pins out of wire, like German style wire, it's way easier to do than these cheaper eye pins. Okay, that's good enough. Um, we'll go ahead and put on our earring wire. And you can open your jump ring, or I'm sorry, you can open your eye pin or you can open your earring wire, whichever. Sometimes earring wires, um, you just have to be super careful uh, because they can they can snap. Not that eye pins can't. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, there we go. Can you believe it? We made two pairs of earrings and a necklace, all because Pam inspired me. Aren't those beautiful? Oh. All right, so if I was an earring, I'd want to be this earring today, and I'm really upset that I don't wear earrings once again because they're so perfect. They're so me. Ele elephants and turquoise. Oh, so yummy. Okay, so let me clean this up, and I'll show you my favorites and then the finished pieces. Okay, and before I go any further, I would love to announce the winner of my lamp giveaway, and that winner is... Congrats to Medicine Heart DS. Please contact me within the next 48 hours. Today is uh, May 30th, so please contact me by Ju the end of June 1st to claim your prize. If not, it'll go to the next person. Um, okay, so here are our finished pieces. Okay, so we have our necklace, which the flower can go on either side. So here it is on the, well, if you were looking at somebody, it would be their left, your right, or flip it. And you can put it on their right, your left. So beautiful. And like I said throughout that whole Jesse James video is so nostalgic for me because I made I lit this was my full time job. I made this necklace over and over and over and over. And it was a good seller. I mean they they sold like hotcakes. So maybe not today's style, but it's super cute anyway and I think it gives you a pop of color. It's easy. Um, okay, so here are our earrings. Goldie's sniffing because she knows it's past dinner time. Um, super cute earrings with our little lucky elephants and our turquoise, African turquoise jasper. And then our little cinnabar and flower earrings. So I never made any that looked quite like this. The earrings that I made um, had a turquoise ball at the top and a red rose at the bottom. Not like this, but like an acrylic flat coin rose bead. I have them still. I might have sold some of them to you. Um, but it's I used that as um, inspiration for these. So we have a um, matching set and then a cute elegant pair of earrings over here. Um, I want to thank Pam. My favorites from this haul were absolutely the African turquoise, Jasper, um, the big cinnabar heart, which if you want, you can make a lay this a layering necklace. This is up by your collarbone. This hangs down with a tassel or something. That would be fun. Um, these wooden hearts were my favorite. And, oh my gosh, she said, oh, oh, oh. She said so much, but definitely these guys, which were my favorite the first time too. <laughs> so yeah, we had a full video. Tell me what your favorite was from Pam. Check her out. She's now on Etsy. She's on Facebook. Um, and let me know what you thought of our project today. I hope you have a fantastic Memorial Day. I'll talk to you soon. Stay tuned for your favorite long-haired chihuahua. She's super cute. Bye-bye.